Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old dirt road. Are you ready to go? Good. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today, we're with William Roth from the Gaslight Theater, the New Theater Festival. You have your hands in a lot of things. Welcome today. Thanks. Thanks for having me. William, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up and how did you get into this position that you're in now? Uh, born in Cincinnati, moved it quickly because uh, my dad got transferred to St. Louis. Uh, born and raised in St. Louis, stint in California in the Marines. Uh, came home and started uh, acting and doing other things. So been a full-time professional actor for 30 plus years. Uh, also run a small marketing firm, needed an office, found two beautiful buildings in St. Louis's old Gaslight Square, which has got a great historic background, um, and uh, rehabbed them and turned one into the Gaslight Theater and started St. Louis Actors Studio, uh, which is a professional performing arts company. That well, baby, I'm out with a bottle of wine and a note to ready to go. attached to a restaurant, and um, so we've got this culture cuisine cocktail idea that goes on between the culinary arts and the... Sure performing arts and so we do live plays and music and just about anything that you could put on a stage in the space it's an intimate 99 seat uh storefront oh very very good very good so how long has that been in operation 15 years 15 years very good all right give us some give us some examples of productions that you've had there in the past five years um well, we do, we host local, prior to the pandemic, that shut things down and we're slowly restarting a lot of the stuff, but St. Louis Actors Studios have done everything from King Lear to Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf to, uh, we do a one-act festival where uh, playwrights around the country send in one-act plays and we uh, cull them down and then put them on in, uh, in, the, in July. Uh, we host local jazz artists on Thursdays, blues artists on Tuesdays. Um, we have had uh, comedians come through. We have a comedy series uh, that um, so various folks. It's a small venue, so it's not for everyone as far as touring uh, groups that come through. But we get plenty, uh, plenty of folks that use it on a yearly basis because they like its intimacy and they can control the ticketing themselves if they want. Yeah, there it's uh, it's nice. Very cool. So thirty plus years as a professional actor. What is it for you about being on stage that was so addicting? Uh, it's not so much about the stage once you perform, once the performance, it's really in theater, uh, well, there's a couple things. One, uh, when you're putting on a play and you're working on a play, the four or fives, depending on how much time you get, weeks of rehearsal and discovery of the, of the art and what was written and what was intended, and then the inter working with a cast and a director that mold it into something, uh, that we agree, uh, is, uh, the voice that we want to want to um project and then you know it's different than once the audience comes in so that's a great learning process that's you know just every day is exciting and fun and then once the audience comes in you know every night's different with live theater you know it is a shared experience everyone's looking at the same thing but everyone's taken back a different uh you know the way they uh interpret it or internally is different uh, even though they were in the uh, same room at the same time. And then a different night, you never know what will happen. So uh, it's very, very exciting. When you're taking on a role, do you look at other actors, how they portrayed that role? Or do you only solely look within your group and your production company for that role? Try not to. Do, I try to, do, you know, make it my own. Uh, I have certainly been lucky enough to find uh, serendipitously when I was playing George and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Uh, I happened uh, in, when I was in New York to run into Bill Irwin, who won the Tony for it, did it on, in London and Broadway. And uh, I got to sit down with him for a couple hours and just talk about it. Uh, not why, and, uh, and so that his relationship with Edward Albee and what he felt George's uh, uh, character was all about. Um, so I like that when it happens. I try not to, you know, I mean, it's all in the script. Everything's right there in the script. So you can kind of, you really don't need to. That's pretty rare to be able to sit down with someone like that. Oh, I just lucked into him. I was Sunday in Newark airport. Uh, I was flying home and standing in line right behind me was him. That's I mean, fantastic. That's yeah. a great. That's a great story. That's really yeah. cool. It was that's really, really awesome. cool. What um, 
What's the best? What's the all-time best production you've ever seen in your life? I was super lucky. And before I had even really thought about being an actor or even really being passionate about theater, uh, my high school as a freshman, as a 14-year-old maybe, freshman in high school, uh, we went to London for a week in 1976. And I saw 10 days of theater that, uh, I mean, Richard Burton in Equus, uh, George Harrison, uh, George Harrison, Rex Harrison in uh, Blythe Spirit. I mean, just these classical actors yeah. in great roles. And and that was my, uh, my experience, uh, opening experience to theater. But I guess the most thrilling theater experience that I had was I was lucky enough to see the original production of Sam Shepard's The Late Henry Moss out in San Francisco. Okay. And that had Sean Penn and Sheila Tuzzi and Richard Gammon and Woody Harrelson uh, and Nick Nolte. I mean, it was just an all-star cast and yeah. a fantastic play. Fantastic. All right. You could bring one production to the Gaslight Theater. Who would you bring? What would you bring? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, anything not theater? I mean, can it be music too? Could be anything. Uh, Yep. You know, if I could bring George Harrison back, I'd have him there. Uh, I love Bill Carton kids. They've gotten too big. I've reached out to them a couple times uh, to bring them uh, to bring them there. Um, uh, you know, that's a really we really have in 15 years done most of the plays on my bucket list that I really wanted right. to. And I felt as though our productions were every bit as good as what I wanted. And bringing hosting someone else's production is nice but it's really better when you have a dream to to produce something and it comes out the way you want it for sure for sure dead or alive you could bring one musical act to the gaslight theater for one final performance who would you bring if i could get uh commander cody and his old, and his uh, lost planet airmen all of the original uh yes. guys uh that would probably uh, certainly be high up the list. Yes, that'd be great. How much do you guys integrate children in your productions and how important is that for your area? It's important for our area. It is not as, not. I wouldn't say it's not important for us, but because there's so many theater product companies in town that do uh, child-related things, mm -hmm. we, made a, we made a decision early on that uh, while we do, we do classes and those sorts of things sure. that... Uh, allow uh, participation from kids. We weren't going to, there's really not an R. I mean, it's kind of, we're more of an adult theater company. Yeah. Um, but, you know, 14 years and up comes to, for the most part, comes to most of our plays, but we don't do, there. Are, most of the plays that we pick uh, do not have the parts for. Sure. Uh, and, and solely because you have a number of children's theaters there. Yeah. In the metro area. Yeah, I got you. Very, very good. Very good. How can people find out more information William, about the Gaslight Theater? The Gaslight Theater's website, uh, and there's two of them. There's one in Tucson, so we're the okay. one in St. Louis, uh, is gaslighttheater.net uh, and uh, St. Louis Actors Studio, stlas.org, okay. uh, are all there. You just If you do Gaslight St. Louis, you'll find the website. So the Gaslight website has everything at the Gaslight St. Louis Actors Studio is primarily focused on what St. Louis Actors Studio is doing because we do shows in New York as well. Very good, very good. All right, a couple last questions here. Let's sure. talk about stage fright for uh, because we, a lot of our listeners are going to be younger. Um, uh -huh. What are some ways that people can get over stage fright? Don't let them ruin it for you. That's really kind of the thing that I've always been. I mean, I get nervous every time I go on stage because you really want to, not so much because I'm afraid of what's out there, but that I really want to do the best I can. Uh, but you've worked really hard to do what you're going to about to do and don't let them ruin it for you, you know, be proud of it and stand. I mean, you don't see them most of the time anyway, the lights right. are in your eyes. So you really can ignore the fact that they're out there. Remember during your final dress rehearsals or the week of those, everything went great and the, nothing's really changed. There's just people in the seats instead of empty seats and, uh, you just got to ignore it and focus on what you're doing. Very cool. What age did you get started, and, and how would you encourage the younger generation to get started in theater? I started early uh, and then took a long hiatus. So I did start. There was a local group that's still around, uh, Webster Ghost Theater Guild, uh, and I did some things with them and then uh, didn't start again until after I got out of the Marine Corps. Um, so I started at, you know, 9, 10, somewhere sure. there, not again until 23, 24, 25 in there. There's a, all you got to do is start looking around. There are a million, I mean, there is so much opportunity now for all eight actors of all ages to do anything they want. 
there are organizations in every community that give you lessons on whether it's dance or textual uh, classes on just looking at plays and uh, and scene work to dance to dance to your voice lessons yeah. to how to uh, perform on camera, how to do auditions. It's all out there. And uh, there's, you know, and now all the streaming that they're uh, there and the stages around the world. Uh, there's just so much work. Uh, it's still, you know, the toughest profession as far as unemployment is concerned. Sure. Uh, far more opportunity now than there's ever been. No, that's exciting. That's exciting. Good. Good. William, thank you for being on with us today. I appreciate you greatly. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. You bet. Yeah. Well, baby, I'm on with a follow.